Hey everybody, this is Zero from Chris Lights. Um, this is going to be a video about all the different bulbs that are available. I always see questions in the forums about the difference between strobes, ribbons, um, fading bulbs, blending bliss, all the different bulbs out there. So basically I'm going to do a rundown and show you. Got my 2016s ready. Here we go. Okay, the first kind of bulb I'm going to show you is a three color strobe. This is an RGB. Three different colors with a gap between them. Strobing bulbs are available in three or seven color versions. This would be a seven color version is the iMorph. Seven different colors. Uh, the way the seven color works is basically this is an RGB bulb just like the one I showed you before except it, uh, it gives you red, green, blue and then it gives you every combination of red, green, and blue or all three colors for a total of seven. There's also a green, blue, white. This is known as the iMorph elements on some websites. This is one of the most popular bulbs. Green, blue, and white being the most popular colors and light showing. It's a pink, orange, green, seven color strobe. Pretty cool bulb. Um, after that, you have your two color strobes. These are a little bit newer. Two color strobe is basically the same thing as a three color strobe, except one of the colors is missing. And uh, you can see that based on the gap you see between light. The green and white are close together, but there's a gap. Uh, the next kind of bulb you have is a ribbon. Ribbon bulbs are similar to strobes. The difference is there's no gap between light. It's all totally connected. This is a pink, white, green. There's pink, white, green, and purple, white, green. So don't get those mixed up. Um, that's a ribbon. There are seven color ribbons too. There's only a couple of them though. RGB is one of them. Do one of these guys right here. There's also a pink, white, green seven color ribbon. No gap in light, all connected. Ribbons look brighter than strobes when they're just sitting stationary. Just so you know. A lot of people like the strobes a lot more just because uh, they look a lot flashier. Some people say to use ribbons you have to have some serious skill. I don't know how true that is. I think it's just a matter of preference. So I don't really think it matters too much. Personally, I use more strobe than anything. But if I do use ribbons, I try to put them on my index or middle fingers because those seem to get a lot more movement when you're actually giving a light show. Um, when you have a ribbon, and you don't move it very much. They don't look too. Don't look too. Uh, next up, we have single color strobes. Here's just a green strobe. Single color. One thing that I can say <clears throat> is the single color strobe, they don't look the same as in a Nova on dot mode. So they do have a different look. They look more like a three color strobe as opposed to a Nova dot. Let's see how this green. Um, this is a newer bulb that just came out. It's a purple strobe. There's a pinkish purple strobe and then there's a purple strobe. This looks like a black light. So. If you're interested in a purple strobe, this is the most purple strobe. It is a black light, so it's not as bright as other lights. Still pretty cool though. Purple strobe. Um, next up, you have the hyper strobes. Here's an RGB hyper strobe. Three color strobe. It's somewhere between a, I guess, a strobe and a ribbon. Looks pretty cool. Has a serious strobe light looking effect. Full sets of these look awesome. There's a hyper strobe. Here's another hyper strobe. Pink, blue, green. Similar to the hyper strobe, there's the dash bulbs. This is the dash. Similar to a hyper strobe, but longer trails on it. Next you have the X-Fusion bulbs, let me show you blue, white, green. Also, these are also known as X-Ross bulbs. Now, I, I consider these the best palm lights because they do slowly change colors. This is how they look when they're moving when you just hold it. It's a slow color change. Uh, there's another bulb called the Blending Bliss, which is similar to this. The only difference is the color change. It looks a little bit different. These have a little bit of a gap in light but the blending bliss have absolutely no gap. So 
I, I can recommend both of them because when they're in your palms, you can't really see the gap or no gap. These would look good if you were going to be swinging lights around on string, if you were doing an orbit, or if you were just going to use them like tiny boy. These look cool. No gap in the transition. They look like this one still. Um, next you have the fade bulbs. I'm going to show you a pink, white, green fade. <clears throat> These are a pretty cool bulb. It actually starts off... Well, this is how they look when they're not moving. But when you move them around, they basically go from pretty much an Anova dot. The stroke gets fatter until it's a straight line, and then it goes back to an Anova dot, so the color. Pretty cool. Most of them are three color fades. There is a seven color version. It's the seven color, color RGB, and that goes through seven different colors in the same style. Next bulb is the dual rainbow. These are available in three color bulbs. And this is a really fast color changing bulb. Not my favorite bowl, but I'm sure somebody out there can make it work. Let's see what else do we have? There's the solar flare. Solar flare just looks like a orangish yellow kind of solid bowl. But I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. When it's stationary, it flickers. It flickers really fast. So that's the solar flare. Let's see, there's the red blue flash. Pretty cool bulb, make good thumbs or palms, probably look really trippy. Then of course we have solid color bulbs, which I'm not going to show you because you guys already know what those look like. And that's all the bulbs. So if you get any questions about bulbs, just email them to chrislights at hotmail.com. Or you can talk to Jappy Chan on Plur Life or CareBear777. They can also answer questions about anything that has to do with lights. My Plur Life is plurlife.com slash 123, name zero. And, uh, us three pretty much grown crystals. So, any questions, let us know. There's going to be another video that talks about the different kind of light casings as well as diffusers and uh, a little bit of talk about circuitry and all that good stuff. So, if you get any other questions, let us know. We'll make another video. Just get the information out there. Um, when we make our videos, we try to make it so we're not saying any one product is better than another product because when it really comes down to it, every single product has its pros every product has its cons. Nothing's perfect yet, and even if they do come out with a perfect light, I'm sure only some people will think it's perfect. So, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, here's a bulb that I forgot to put in the original video. This is the Purple Tracer. It only works in a Nova or drops to anything with modes. Here's how it looks normal, and dot mode, you get this. Mm -hmm. Purple Tracer. And one more thing that I didn't put in the original video is kind of cool. RGBs come in two different types. You can get a red RGB or a blue RGB. I'm going to have these up on the side very soon. There's no variations. Same in the original round, but the station one's blue.